Hey everyone, my name is Victor Dwyer and today we are going to dive in to everything about reviews. So reviews are very complex and Amazon is getting way better at cracking down on certain review campaigns. But today what we're going to talk, out, talk about is some white hat, white hat methods, meaning very terms of service approved that Amazon approves of and lets you do and won't get you in trouble. We're going to talk about some gray hat methods and then we'll talk about some black hat methods, each getting riskier and riskier down the line. So let's dive right into it. Cool. Whoop. There we go. Make me smaller. Perfect. Okay, so this is a sh the master sheet of everything you need to know about Amazon to make all your decisions. And today we're going to go through the tools, and today we're going to be talking about Amazon reviews. So we're, we're going to be in this section today. So if you were wanting to do an Amazon review request, meaning that this is something that Amazon sponsors, okay? So Amazon has a little button on the order page where you can click through every single order and request a review. That's totally possible. But Helium 10 lets you do this automatically. And there's a million tools that automatically do this. Helium 10 is just a natural one. So you'll be able to request reviews. So you can go to their follow-up tool and then you just press request more reviews and then you can have an automated review requester on the back end so that way you can start getting reviews that way and you'll be able to track how many reviews um, you gather from it. So um, pretty simple in that way that it just basically automatically requests your reviews. This is only available if you're 3PL, Seller Central. Um, so just so you're aware on that side. Perfect. And then the second way to get that, and the, that is very white hat. So Amazon totally allows you to do that. You're just using Amazon's button and you're just creating an automated ver version to press Amazon's button. Totally TOS compliant. And then you have postcards. Postcards are, depending on what you send, that changes the how white hat or black hat it is. Black hat meaning not allowed by Amazon, white hat meaning it is allowed by Amazon. So you can use postcards to request reviews and request customer information by using QR codes and other variety of things. And basically it could look anything like this, saying, hey, get 20% off our next um, product. So just so you understand what is and was not allowed by Amazon, so every time you are using Amazon customer information to send to your website to, for a purchase is considered black hat. So like you cannot use the Amazon customer information, the addresses, send them and say, Hey, go to our website and purchase. That is very black hat. <clears throat> if Amazon found that out, they would be very angry and possibly suspend you. But you are allowed to use that customer information and bring them back to Amazon. Um, Anytime you are providing more incentive for people to come back to Amazon, Amazon does like, they like money, that simple. So if you want to um, have some type of promotional effort to bring them back to Amazon, that is totally allowed um, in my perspective. So keep in mind, I am not, I am not reading every single sentence within the TOS compliance, but just using simple philosophy, you can say, Hey, Amazon likes money. You're sending them back to Amazon. That's totally okay. So, that, that's fine if you use a promotion code to bring them back. When you start requesting reviews, it gets a little tricky. Amazon specifically says, you cannot, cannot incentivize anyone for review. Meaning that you could not provide a 20% off coupon, you cannot give them a gift card for review. So, that is specifically what they say. So anytime you do offer any incentive, for leaving a review, it is not allowed. Now, if you don't an offer an incentive, it most likely people are, if you sent them a gift card saying, hey, please give us your your feedback, most likely they're not gonna do anything with it. Unfortunately, that's true. So, um, we currently, to this day, still do reviews, uh, or we still incentivize for reviews. Amazon isn't really the best at catching on to it, they the, basically the way they catch it is if you use um, review frequency. They basically track how much reviews. If it sky if reviews like go up, if you get ten reviews in one day and you usually are getting zero, the Amazon's algorithm will go, hey, this is suspicious. Suspicious. They're getting ten reviews in one day. Something's fishy, and they will um, blacklist your listing from getting future reviews. Happens. I've had a client pinged for that, um, but they were getting a lot of 
the review frequency was dramatic. So that's the reasoning why that happened. So just keep that in mind. Review frequency is a thing. Um, and Amazon does keep track of that. And also, you cannot use the same IP address under, like, for example, if you're a family, a household family, and you all try to leave reviews on the same product, Amazon will track that and will stop your account from leaving the review and may blacklist your listing if you do that. So keep track. There's a lot of factors when it comes to Amazon reviews. Okay, so um, you can use postcards to send to a QR code, which goes through a messenger flow saying, hey, um, we'd love for you to leave um, review on our products. Totally possible. So yes, technically that is not allowed to incentivize, hey, if you, we'll give you a $5 gift card if you leave a review. That is completely black hat. Do I have clients that do that all the time? Yes, I do. So um, is it hard to catch? Very, very. It's very hard to catch. It's all external. It's very difficult to catch. Um, we do it all under the radar. So do we do it all the time? Yes. Is it black hat? Yes. Um, if you were wanting to do, you could do like a 20% off promo code back to Amazon and say, we'd love for you to leave a review. That would be allowed. You cannot say, if you leave a review, get 20% off. So that's the difference. You could say, here's a 20% off code. And we also love to hear your feedback on the product. That is totally allowed. Um, so just so you're aware on that side. So it's a little bit gray hatish to it's, it depends how you phrase it, but <clears throat> those are kind of the fine lines of what you can and can't do. Amazon will most likely never be able to track these things. Um, they're usually pretty bad at it, to be honest. So I usually am not too worried about it. Um, we don't do anything that's totally black hat. Like um, every time, anytime you are leading a customer to go away from Amazon, that's a big no, no. I never, I never do that. Um, I never lead a um, Amazon customer back to my website because that's a big, big no, no. Um, because once you're taking away Amazon revenue, they get really fussy about that. They don't like you taking away Amazon's revenue. So um, I'd be careful about that. So um, hopefully that gives you context about that. So that's postcards. So you can use Postpilot to basically send out your postcards. And I should have given you an, enough information to go off of. I would go through a QR code that goes through some type of messenger flow um, or email, some type of email sign up saying, hey, we'd love for you to sign up. And from there, they can you can get their customer information to also request a review from there. And then there's product inserts, <clears throat> which are very, very similar. So um, with the product inserts, you can place, basically put a QR code. And I have, I have one right here that you can see um, from Helium 10 saying, hey, like, thank you. We, we'd love to get your feedback on the product. Um, and then that also goes through messenger flow, which you can get more information um, about the product. This, this product insert is actually inside the box. Um, or this can be a sticker on the product as well. But either it can be a piece of paper inside the box where the people open the packaging and they see the product insert and they see this little thing saying, Hey, thank you for purchasing. If you have any problems, um, feel free to email us. That's allowed. And if you have, if you want to leave feedback, um, scan this QR code that is allowed. Um, it's, you just can't incentivize people for it. Um, so that is, that is allowed and you are allowed to provide an email address. Um, if there are, if they do have any issues from what my understanding that is allowed. So um, hopefully that makes sense on that side. Um, that's the best practices when it comes to product inserts. Product inserts are a little in the gray hat area. I have had a client shut down, but only on a huge scale. So I've never had a client under that makes under $30 million a year ever get pinged for a product insert. And so if you are making like less than $30 million a year on Amazon and um, as long as you're using something along the lines of this and saying, Hey, here, the only time I could see someone getting pinged for a, a product insert is saying, Hey, here's $40, um, Amazon gift card. If you leave us a review, that's a big no, no, that will definitely get you shut down. So keep that in mind. Um, please be careful on that side. And then postcards, um, that'd be very difficult for Amazon to track. You can probably do anything you want there. And I I'd see it almost, there's no way Amazon could really track that to be honest. And then automated Amazon reviews, that's completely white hat. So feel free to utilize that however you want. So that's the overview on how to get reviews the fastest on Amazon. 
um, the three ways that are the best way now. You used to be able to buy reviews um, and do review. We do still do review campaigns to this day, which are totally black hat when you basically tell the customer, buy the product, we'll give it to you for free, and then we'll give you a, a incentivize you for a review. That we do that all the time for clients. We we tell them it's black hat, but we still do it. Um, so just keep that in mind. Be careful and try to stay under the radar as much as possible. But that's the best way to kind of acquire new reviews. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Thanks.